Although she had studied biology, she knew that during puberty, there are always some physical changes in girls. But this situation, it was so strange. The girl was afraid to tell her parents. She came to the hospital alone. When she took off her shoes, the doctor was shocked too. It is reasonable to assume that the parallel fingers are all congenital. It does not appear suddenly at puberty. The doctor stepped aside and immediately dialed the number of the specialist. While she was on the phone, while staring strangely at the girl, Xiaomei felt uncomfortable comfortable all over, so she rushed out of the hospital. She panicked, afraid that everyone would know about her strange illness. Just then, her legs suddenly gave out. She fell hard. Xiao Mei got up with a start. She could vaguely feel her own body was changing in a terrible direction. Could it be genetic? But both her parents were normal. She remembered her mother's indifference to her. Gradually, she began to suspect that she might not be her mother's child. To find out the truth, Xiao Mei rushed home. She went through the photos in her suitcase. There were hundreds of them in all, but there was not a single picture of her mother when she was pregnant, not even a picture of her before she was one year old, she couldn't even find one before she was a year old, what was going on here, it was a rare day when her mother was home on leave, Xiaomei finally found the courage to ask her mother, why was there no picture of her at home when she was born, was she a foundling, her mother was speechless, angrily, she asked back, is it because you're not doing enough homework, why do you keep thinking about things, in Xiao Mei's opinion, her mother did not answer her question directly, so her suspicion grew even stronger. The girl quickly grabbed a goldfish and shoved it into her mouth. To hide the changes in her body. When she went out, Mei then changed into stockings. As she walks along the road, stray cats keep following her. Seems to smell food as she had just changed schools. In this school, she didn't have a single friend. Coupled with her parents' estrangement, Xiao Mei was desperate for friendship. She slowly walked towards the bad students, trying to join them, but they didn't take her seriously. After school, Mei went home to her family. She thought her mother would comfort her, but then she saw her hair in disarray. Life was not going well at all. She became even more distraught. In the heat of the moment, she pushed her mother violently. She saw her mother fall to the ground. She immediately felt regret. And so, the relationship between mother and daughter drifted apart. In the middle of the night, Mei suddenly felt thirsty. But ordinary water didn't help. So she poured in half a packet of salt and gulped it down. That relieved her thirst. But the next day, the strange sensation returned. The girl quickly grabbed a goldfish and shoved it into her mouth. She had eaten a live fish raw. It even felt delicious. But when she came to her senses, Mei went straight to the toilet. She threw up all over the toilet. She didn't know. Why did she become like this? She just had a vague feeling that her body was changing in strange ways. To make friends, Mei tied her hair up. Then she took out a cigarette. She said she was a bad girl too. With a lot of effort, the girls finally accepted her. And she became best friends with Anna the older sister. They skipped school together. They shoplift from the supermarket in plain sight. The thrill of it all. The thrill of it makes Mei forget her troubles for a while. Gradually, Mei became more and more crazy. In pursuit of excitement, she took the initiative to ask a strange man out. But after the incident, she found herself in a worse situation. When she woke up, Xiao Mei's leg had actually lost a layer of blue skin. She was worried that her parents would see her, so she rushed to stuff the shed skin under her bed. In the lab class, the teacher was demonstrating the dissection of a live fish. Everyone looked on with curiosity, but Mei had a longing look in her eyes. She restrained herself as much as possible, trying to act as normal as possible. By the end of class, everyone left the classroom. Xiao Mei looked around. After making sure no one was there, she grabbed the fish meat of the blood victory and shoved it straight into her mouth. She gobbled it up, but a female classmate saw this scene. As if she had done something wrong, she rushed out in anger. She pointed a finger at the girl's neck and threatened her severely. She threatened her not to tell anyone about the incident. After calming down, Mei realized how disgusting her behavior had been. She was very upset, pounding the table repeatedly, and made up her mind. She was determined to change. Mei went to the supermarket. She bought scissors and gauze. When she got home, she first put foundation on her legs to cover up the strange bruises. Then, with a heart of gold, cut the skin between her toes in pain. She thought things would get better, but to her surprise, something even more bizarre came next. The girl lifted her shirt and found fish carp growing under her ribs. That night, Xiao Mei followed her friends, came to the beach for a party. Her best friend fell into the sea by accident. Mei doesn't know how to swim, but now, she had an inexplicable desire for the sea, and without hesitation, 
she jumped in and managed to save her best friend. But when she opened her shirt, she discovered that she had fish carp growing out of her body. She touched her hand carefully. The skin moved with her breathing. Mei was terrified, looking at herself in the mirror. She felt so helpless. When she returned home, something even more horrific happened. Both her legs turned completely black and blue. There were strange scales growing on them. Xiao Mei panicked. When her parents were not home, she hurriedly found tweezers. She fought through the pain to remove the scales. But it was too painful. She punched her legs in anger. She really didn't know what to do. Soon Mei was completely devastated. She went to the kitchen and pulled out a kitchen knife. Without hesitation, she slashed her wrists. It didn't take long for Mei to pass out. When she woke up again, the wound had healed. She had changed her appearance completely. Her legs had grown completely together. She had turned into a green and black fish tail. Xiao Mei struggled desperately, but she couldn't get up. Finally, with all her strength, she climbed into the bathtub when her body was soaked in water. A feeling of pleasure she had never felt before. Two hours later, the whole room was flooded with water, and Xiaomei lay in the water to her heart's content. Enjoying her freedom, she had never been so relaxed. Gradually, Mei calms down completely. She dialed her best friend's number. She wanted her to help her with her last wish. Ten minutes later, her best friend arrived in a hurry. She carefully entered the water-filled room. Seeing Xiaomei in such a state, she froze in her tracks. After understanding the situation, she was a bit overwhelmed. Mei said she wanted to go to the sea because she knew that was the place for her. Her best friend agreed. She lifted Mei onto the truck with all her might and set off for the sea. When she arrived at her destination, she sat with Mei in the bucket and then she picked up the phone. She said her final goodbyes to her mother. She felt sorry for her impulsiveness. She regretted her youthful ignorance. After hugging her best friend, Mei slowly crawled out to sea. In the blue sea, Mei has finally found her place. This is the end of the film. Although the plot of the film is on the absurd side, but it is also a metaphor for the psychological and physical changes. Due to psychological and physical changes, reluctance to communicate with their parents, eventually isolating themselves. I hope that every parent is a port of call for their children and a spiritual companion.